Tigers and Royals ready to square off in game two of this three game series. Tarek Skubal makes his <laughs> final start of the season tonight. He has struck out seven or more in seven consecutive starts. And Michael Garcia and we are underway. And as the rain comes down in Detroit. A good start for Skubal. He blows away Garcia to start the night. And now Bobby Witt Jr. comes to the plate. To third base. Veerling on the charge. Good scoop by Torkelson. We've seen it time and time again. They get Witt for the second out. Salvador Perez steps to the plate. Open stands from the right side. And Salvi lines one into center field. Makes him eight for 17 with three home runs mixed in against Tarek Skubal. Brings up Nelson Velasquez with a runner on first and two outs. Scoreless game at Comerica Park just underway. Got him swinging. Good start for Tarek Skubal. Making 15 pitches to retire the Royals. And here comes Detroit's Jonathan Boland will open the game on the mound. The rookie making his major league debut. Parker Meadows coming to the plate right now. Meadows swings and misses strike three. Jonathan Boland blew him away with a 95 mile an hour fastball. And Jonathan Boland records his first major league strikeout against the first big league batter he faces. Man on two outs, first inning, and we're scoreless. Swung on and missed, strike three. Slider in the dirt, Carpenter chased it. It's two strikeouts in a scoreless bottom of the first inning for Jonathan Bolin in the first inning of his major league career. But he has a leadoff double here in the second inning. Fastball got him, bottom of the strike zone, 96. The third strikeout for Tarek Skubal. Swing and a miss, got him with a changeup. Terrific pitch, that pitch is getting better and better every time out. Meadows into the raindrops, has it, and Skubal strands a leadoff double. Miguel Cabrera will lead off the second. Leading off the bottom of the second for the Tigers, a designated hitter number 24, Miguel Cabrera. Cheer on Miguel Cabrera as he steps to the plate. Big young rookie right-hander, Jonathan Bolin. Fly ball, deep right center field. Way back in right center. Gone! Number five, 11 for Miguel Cabrera. Deep to right center. Oh, look at him rounding third. That'll get the crowd juiced up. That's a classic Miguel Cabrera home run. Deep to right center. Out of line. Runner at first, two down. First pitch, chopper left side. Played by Garcia, fires to Salvi for the out, and the leadoff homer winds up being the one run scored by the Tigers so far tonight. One nothing Tigers. He's in some kind of rhythm, strikes out the side. Scoobal in charge in Detroit. Scoobal is dealing seven strikeouts through three scoreless frames. We begin the fourth Salvador Perez, Nelson Velasquez, and Edward Olivares against Tarek Scoobal. Strike three called. That's eight punch outs for Scoobal. Two up, two down in the KC fourth. Line drive left field. Badu is there. One, two, three inning for Tarek Scoobal. Eight consecutive starts now with seven strikeouts or more. Cabrera breaks the tie with Adrian Beltre. Stands 14th all by himself after that homer in the second. I see that Cabrera has singled again. Well, Miggy having himself a day. Base line drive deep. Fair down the right field line. Just inside the line. Cabrera rounding second, heading to third. Ibanez down to second. Punched it down the right field line. A double puts runners at second and third here in the fourth. Tyler Nevin will pinch hit for Akil Badu. Down the right field line. Could be trouble in the corner. It's gone! Tyler Nevin with the Tigers' seventh pinch hit homer of the year. It's a three-run inning. The magic. The magic. It has happened in downtown Detroit. The last weekend, celebrating Miguel Cabrera. We are in a weather delay at Comerica Park. After the last five or six minutes that preceded, now they bring out the tarp, which they could have ostensibly done between innings. This is three outs away from an official game. You want to make sure, if you're the Tigers, that this is short-lived in this rain delay. A suspended game tonight after four innings and a rain delay that uh, lasted an hour 20 before they called it for the evening here. We're going to continue this game tomorrow. Detroit leads it 4 nothing. Game two of this three-game series resumes here in the fifth inning between the Tigers and the Royals at beautiful Comerica Park. Miguel Diaz will start the fifth. His last appearance was Saturday. Broke his bat. And Torkelson makes the easy play to start this Thursday afternoon with an out. Drew Waters struck out his first time out. 
Swinging a high fly ball to center field. Parker Meadows will drift to his left, settle under it, and come in, make the catch. Two up and two down. It's McKay. When the rain came, was behind the plate calling balls and strikes. He assumes that. 2-2. Two, two. Got him middle of the plate with a changeup. Absolutely froze Logan Porter. Nice start to the resumption of this game. A 1-2-3 fifth inning for Miguel Diaz. So now Steven Cruz will pitch the fifth after Bolin went the first two and then Angel Serpa went two. Veerling batting in the two spot. A walk to Veerling, his second walk of the day. Here comes Spencer Torkelson, still in search of number 30. Inside, another walk. This one on four pitches. Two men aboard. Carpenter's had a chance to uh, rest up and get those two strikeouts out of his system. Moved his feet and nicked him. Bases are loaded for guess who? Inside, he did take it. Another RBI for Miguel Cabrera. The Tigers are up 5 0. 5 0 Tigers. Ibanez at the plate. Rolls it to short. Witt Jr. for one. The relay not in time. Another run scores. Detroit's up a half dozen. The runner on second with two outs. One ball, two strikes on Rodgers. Rodgers in the air to left field. Blanco chasing, looking, and it's out of here. Two run shot for Jake Rodgers. Give him 21 on the year and pad the Tigers' lead to eight. Yeah, that's a great job by Jake. You know, he's kind of the first at bat didn't look real comfortable. Even in that at bat, wasn't looking super comfortable, but got a hanging slider and locked it in at the right moment, in space, right time, and blasted to left. One more out to get for Trey Wingenter. Lifted left center field. And deep, Meadows. On the wall, he's got it! You go, young man, you go. <laughs> oh, Parker Meadows, a game changer in center field. The 6'5 frame, long strides. You want me on the wall? I'll go up on the wall and make a play. You bet we want you on the wall. He makes it look easy and preserves the Tigers' 14th shutout of the season.